what is up guys welcome to another video so in this video I'm gonna be doing the DIY PM3 uh, Wi-Fi engine for my car so I want to be able to control the get the features of PM3 on my phone especially the exhaust valve control uh, I'm gonna be installing uh, the AFE catback exhaust which it has a valve in it so I want to be able to control the valve from my phone as needed Anyways, let's get started. So things we're gonna need is a 16 gig micro SD. We're gonna need the Raspberry Pi 3, not the 3 plus, the 3. Then we're gonna need the enclosure for it. I bought this too, it's basically a, a 90 low profile OBD connection extender gonna I guess look a bit more hidden than the actual ENET cable that's OBD to internet uh, I'm gonna put this and I connect that to that and then I could hide it and make it a bit more I guess it's gonna be a bit more hidden and then we need a USB USB to USB 2.0 cable basically provide power to the Raspberry Pi. So yeah, this is just the OBD extender, low profile. And then this guy is the enclosure. Everything, got it from Amazon. And this is the actual Raspberry Pi. So. Let's put this together. And this came with some heat sinks. So I think one goes on this and one goes over there. An enclosure HDMI on this side goes in there, and then cover it up. <coughs> and then we put the four screws. SD card goes right there. So once you're done with uh, putting everything together in the case, the motherboard, you go ahead and install and then download this firmware from for the OBD agent. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's on the actual Bookmore 3 website. Uh, it will be in the link. The link will be in the description. And we can also install Disk Imager or etcher for Mac users and then you could go ahead and install whichever software we are going to also need WinRAR to extract the firmware so we could go ahead and extract the firmware don't think I have WinRAR installed Yeah, no, I'm gonna install that too. Yeah. Just go English 64 bit.
starts extracting all the new micro SDs. Computer reads it good. <coughs> and then once that's done extracting, you can go ahead and open the disk imager. Basically, choose the device. Mine's, I'm pretty sure, is the Stripe E. Yep. And then choose the firmware on my desktop. This guy. So I chose it. Where is this key? Right. Yes. I don't know how long this is gonna take. It might take a while. Looks like it's gonna take like about 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, so the ride is successful. Once it's all done, you can pretty much connect it to your Raspberry Pi device. Alright, guys, once you're all done with the computer, we can connect the micro SD. Yeah, so if, you're, if this little notch is facing up, you want the contacts of the SD to face down. And that should be it. You're good to go to go ahead and install it in the car. Let's go do that. Alright guys, so I'm at the car now. I'm just gonna run the cable. I'm trying to get this end to the glove box. Got it out over here, so this is why I got the low profile one because it's a bit more hidden. And up here and here and just got over here so far. Gonna have to get it over there and then to the glove box somehow. Alright, so I got it in here. Oh, up through here. And then I'm gonna have to, I don't know, figure out how to get it into the glove box from this area. I think I can go in from back here. Alright, so I had to pop this trim piece off. I to get my hand in here. If your hand's too big, you could. And I'll put a piece of wire down and then get it through here and then basically fish it up and I kind of guided it down this way and I'm gonna grab it from in here now so you just pop this piece off be easier to grab here you go and now we can get into the glove box Okay, I'm just gonna poke it through that hole right there in the top. That should get the job done. Hey, we are in the glove box. So the reason why I wanted mine in my glove box is because I have this little triple socket USB splitter so I have power here so I might as well run it here and I have all this other stuff too uh, I know lots of people run it in the center I mean you could run it wherever you want whatever is most convenient for you I just wanted to do it here yeah once it's here once you got all your cabling then you could go ahead and put all your trim pieces back together and should be good to go Alright guys, so we should have access to the boot mode 3 features through the mobile application now. Uh, I got everything hooked up. So you want your device name set to boot mode 3. And also, your Wi-Fi personal hotspot boot mode 3. Make sure there's no space because I accidentally put a space and then I hit done and it wasn't connecting. Then. I just removed that, removed the space and it connected right away, so it's kind of iffy. Uh, yep, there you go, connected right away. Now if we go into the app. Now if we go, well we have access to everything now that we did on the laptop. Do let's see if we can open the valve. I 
I think it's already open. Let me close it. Yeah, I heard it. I don't know if it came in the video, but I definitely heard it close. Let's open it back. Yep. Alright guys, pretty cool. Now I have access to everything that I did on the laptop with the mobile phone. Um, I mean, pretty cool how I can control the exhaust valve because I'm going to be installing the uh, AFE Mac Force Alcaback exhaust. Uh, basically it has the valve so I want to be able to control that on the go how I like and um, I could do software updates and do data logs through my phone now so that's pretty cool um, yeah that's it for this video as always thanks for watching stay tuned for more and subscribe see ya